We're joining progress, ladies and gentlemen. We're sorry. We apologize. We had some technical difficulties. Cowgirls get on the board first as Natalie McFadden has sent two free throws. Annie Harkins shoots and gets her own rebound, takes it in, and misses once again, gets her rebound, rebounded by Pettis. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're joined in progress here. We're running a little behind, had some technical difficulties. We are just streaming on uh, the athletic page right now. Had some technical difficulties streaming to YouTube. I think we're all situated now. Cockroach with a quick 2-0 lead. Does Natty McFadden sunk two free throws? And Addie Harkins with the shot rebounded by Victoria. Off in the trenches. Victoria gets her own rebound. Another two points for the Cowgirls. Victoria Carter with two points. Natalie McFadden with two points. And Victoria Carter with the steal. Looks down court. McFadden taking it up the court. Down to Mabry Herman, off the backboard and in. <laughs> Mabry Herman with, adds two points, stolen by McFadden. Natalie takes it up and off the board. Takes it backcourt, sets up the offense, swings it to Harkins, inside to Carter, deflected, and it's a little tie up between McFadden and Rian Martinez. Nearly stolen by Shay by by Kaylor Ruiz. They're gonna call a foul on Natalie McFadden. Pettis to inbound the ball. Pass nearly stolen by uh, deflected by Herman and off the foot of a Pettis Lady Eagle. It's gonna be Cowgirl ball. Kaylor Ruiz to inbound for the Cowgirls. Kaylor looking for someone, finds Eddie Harkins. He's going to swing it back out to Kaylor. Kaylor's going to take it up the middle. A nice little jump shot off the backboard. Rebounded by Carter, taking it up, and two points for Victoria. That's going to be a total of four points so far for her. It's going to be inbounded by Ruiz once again. Thrown into McFadden, and it's going to be deflected off Pettis, but they're going to say last touch by McFadden, so it's going to be Pettis ball. And it's going to be batted out of bounds by Addie Harkins. Five forty five remaining here in the first quarter. It's be Cowgirls ball. Kaylor Ruiz to inbound for the Hennis. Harkins. Back to to the Ruiz as they try to break the press. And throws it down low to Victoria Carter for another two points. Cowgirls with a quick 10-0 lead here. 528 here in the first quarter. And they're going to call her for over and back. Calgary's off to a quick 10 0 lead here. Kaylor dribbling down the middle and takes the shot, but she's going to be fouled. They're going to call the foul on Mika Davis. Uh, Pettis.
Kaylee Ruiz shooting two shots. First one is up and off the rim. Her second attempt is coming up and it's a nice little swish shot. 11-0 to Hennis. Bella Gomez bringing up the ball, st stolen by Ruiz. Three on one, passes it to Harkins, off the backboard, missed, rebounded by Mabry, she tips it, puts it up. Carter gets the rebound, hands all over the place, and it's gonna be out of bounds on the Cowgirls. Pettis will take over. Bella Gomez bringing the ball up for the Eagles. Throws it in, send out. Inside, deflected by Carter. It's going to remain here on the side for the Eagles. Checking in for the Cowgirls. Number 12, Alicia Garcia. And number 15, Brighton Beard. Inbounded. Drives inside, but they're going to say they're going to get Carter for a foul. So it's going to be a first foul on Victoria Carter. Pettis to inbound. Cockroach on a 2-3 formation. And they're going to get Brighton Beard with the foul. And that's going to send number 11, Mika Davis, to the free throw line. The first shot is up and off the rim. Davis' second shot is up and rolls in, gets a little friendly roll. 10 point lead for the Cowgirls. And by, by Kaler, pass to Natalie. Nearly stolen, and it was stolen by Jackson Reyna. And McFadden with the steal again, takes it all the way to the hoop, and she's going to get fouled by number 12, Allison Morin. So Natalie McFadden to the line. And she hit two free throws earlier, and she hits the third one as well. So she's made all three free throws and has one more to attempt. Second one up for Natalie, and she's good. Perfect from the line, four for four, so that gives her four points. On the ball game. put the score incorrectly. On the line for Pettis is Allison Maureen. Maureen's second shot is up. And off the front of the rim, rebounded by Kaler. Kaler takes it up the court. And it's going to take it all the way in and off the backboard. Carter's there to regain it and puts it up, but it's going to be out of bounds. And it's going to remain with the Cowgirls. Kaylor looking for someone to throw it into. Throws it into Carter. It goes up and foul with no call. Rebounded by Beard. Swung out to Ruiz. And they're going to get a foul called on number two, Rian Martinez. Ruiz to inbound. As Alicia wide open, shoots the three and off the fingertips of Carter. Bella Gomez bringing it up for the Eagles. Throws it inside and off the hands of Allison Morin. So it's going to go over to the Cowgirls. Well, actually, they're going to say it's going to remain here. 
there. Checking in for Victoria Carter is Mabry Herman, Tony Burrow. And Brighton Beer checks out. Ball's inbounded by Pettis. Oh, stolen by McFadden. Two on two. McFadden's going to take it all the way up and fouled. So Natalie McFadden back to the free throw line. She's made her first four free throws. Three forty-seven remaining here in the first quarter. McFadden with the free throw and it is up and off the rim. That's her first miss of the game. Checking into the game for the Cosgrove's number three, Sydney Reyes, for Kaylee Ruiz. Second free throw is up and good. They're going to count the basket. They're going to say with lane violation. So 14-1 here for the Cowgirls. Great defense by Burrow. And off the knee of number 11, Mika Davis, who's going to go over to the Cowgirls. McFadden will inbound the ball for DeHennis. Throws it into Garcia. Alicia's going to dribble down court. Crosses midcourt, and they try to slow her down. Passed off to Mabry, a nice little jump shot. Rebounded by Tony Burrow. She goes up. The Garcia and a Lady Eagle tie the ball up. It's going to go over to Pettis. Gomez bringing the ball up for the Eagles. Swings it over to Hartsfield. Throws it inside. Stolen by Alicia Garcia. And it's a three on two. Four on two now. Alicia's going to take it up, throw it up, off the backboard, rebounded, and then lost. Pettis with the ball. Throws it down the court. And three cowgirls there. And Garcia nearly steals it. Nice long downtown shot. Rebounded by Reyes. Sydney Reyes taking the ball. And passes it off to Garcia. Garcia trying to find a way inside. Pass it to Mabry Herman. Nice little jump shot. And off. And it's going to be out of bounds. And it's going to stay with the Cowgirls. Cowgirls with the 14-1 lead here. Inbounded by McFadden. By Danny Davis. Throws it to Garcia and airballs it. Pettis breaks the press. Coming down the court. She passes it back. Open. And nearly stolen by Garcia. Herman there with great defense. Stolen. Poked by Tony Burrow. Picked up by Mary. Passed down to Garcia. Up for the layup and off the rim. And maybe Herman with the deflection. It's out of bounds. 149 here in the first quarter. Addie Harkins is going to check in for Alicia Garcia. On the court for the Cowgirls, you have Tony Burrow, Mabry Herman, Addie Harkins, Sidney Reyes, and Danny Davison. Gonna be Pettis ball on the side. Cowgirls with a 14-1 lead here. Herman passes it to Ray. Ray is gonna take it up the court. So he's gonna pass it to Davidson. Davis is gonna take it in. Nice little jump shot, and it's gonna be short. Rebounded by Herman. Back to Harkins off the backboard and in for Addy Harkins. It's going to be two points for Addy Harkins. Cowgirls have a 16-1 lead here. And we'd like to apologize to everyone. We started off late. 
we like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Honda National Bank, Medina Electric Co-op. Welcome on board Triple Burrow, Show Pigs, 90s Taco Store, Cecil Axe Ford and Hondo, Cowboy Pest Control Services, and Hutto Real Estate. We are having some difficulties. We are trying to stream to YouTube and on the athletic page here. But I had a little technical difficulty, so we're just here on the athletic page for right now. But we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors once again. We apologize once again for coming on a little bit late, but I believe we're all situated now. Cowgirls coming out with the Cowgirls coming out strong here. Dolan and Danny Davidson off the backboard and in two points for Danny Davidson. Forty seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Kyle goes in a two three zone. Stolen by Sydney Reyes. And she's gonna take it in. off the backboard off and rebounded by Pettis. And it's gonna be tied up and the ball's gonna go. Stay here with the Cowgirls. Twenty eight seconds here in the first quarter. Reyes finds Harkins for a three, and it's going to be off the backboard and a foul. Eddie Harkins puts three, puts a three-pointer up, and they call a foul. So she's going to get a fourth shot here. Twenty-five seconds and a mass sub for the Cowgirls. Checking into the game: freshman Maddie Rodriguez, Brighton Beard, Peyton Burrow, Shaylee Ruiz, and at the line, Eddie Harkins. So it's a 21-1 lead for the Cowgirls. And there's a three from Pettis, rebounded by Shaylee Ruiz, and she's off. Pass to Harkins, to Burrow. Peyton Burrow makes the layup. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter as your DeHendis Cowgirls lead 23-1. And once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Cowboy Pest Control, are you having problems with bugs in your house? Have you started seeing fire ants pop up in your yard? Call Dale at Cowboy Pest Control and he will take care of those or any other insect related issues you may be facing. With over 16 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale has seen and treated almost every problem you may be facing. From ants, roaches, spiders, scorpions, to bees, fleas, and even termites, Dale has a fix for it. If you find yourself needing a wood destroying insect report for the sale of a property, he can do that also. Call Dale at 830-931-5542 for honest, dependable service at a fair price. Best of luck to the Cowgirls and Cowboys from Cowboy Pest Control. And we'd like to welcome everyone back. We're here live from Roy Kyle Gymnasium. Here to Hannes Cowgirls. Score 23 quick points in the first quarter. Pettis with the ball swung out to the corner. Cowgirls in the 2 3. Alicia Garcia, Shaley Ruiz, Brighton Beard, Maddie Rodriguez, and Peyton Burrow out there from the court for the Cowgirls. Rebounded by 
Beard pass to Shaley Ruiz. Takes it down the court. He's gonna take it in and try to save it. But they're gonna say the ball will go over to Pettis. Pettis bringing the ball up. Swings the ball over. Pettis running their offense. To number 11, Mika Davis, who throws it to, stolen by Garcia. Two on two, Garcia's gonna take it up, pass it to Shaley inside off the back, the bottom of the rim, the backboard, excuse me. And they're gonna call a foul on Pettis. It's gonna be a foul on number 15, Jocelyn Reina. It's gonna send Shaley Ruiz through the line. First shot is up and good. So Shaley Ruiz with the second attempt and off. And rebounded. They're going to say it's going to go over to Pettis. Pettis brings the ball up. Cargo sitting the 2 3 zone. Pettis swing the ball back and forth, trying to get find someone inside. It's going to be stolen by Shaley Ruiz. She's going to take it all the way up off the backboard. And another two points for Shaley Ruiz, making her debut on varsity tonight. That's quick three points for her. Pettis swings the ball to the corner, back to the other side. Trying to find someone inside, but the Cowgirls defense is suffocating them. Nearly stolen by Ruiz once again. And they're going to get her for traveling. 6-17 here in the second quarter. Mass subs for the Cowgirls as the starters check back in. Shaley, uh, Kayla Ruiz, Natalie McFadden, Addie Harkins, Victoria Carter, and Mabry Herman check back in. Nick Fannin's going to bring the ball up. Swings it over to Ruiz. Looking inside for Carter. Swings it back to Addy. Addy's looking for someone. He's going to just pull up. Back to Kaler for a three. And off the bottom of the rim. Try, nice effort by Carter to try to save it. Deflected by her. And then Herman. And Pettis brings the ball back up. Nearly stolen by Carter. Great defense. Double teamed by Carter and Harkins. Three, and it's going to be airballed and out of bounds. It's going to go over to the Cowgirls. Okay, Ruiz inbounds to Harkins. And back to Ruiz, and Ruiz is going to bring the ball up. Swings it to Harkins. Mabry at the top. Ruiz. Inside to Carter. Carter goes up and is fouled by number 12, Alison Maureen. So Carter will get two shots. The first one is up and off. Checking into the game for Pettis is number 22, Mercedes Garcia. Carter with the second shot. It's up and short. So ball will go over to Pettis. Score remains 26 to 2. As the Cowgirls are in the bonus. Nice drive inside, rebounded by Herman. Passes to Harkins. Going down court. Gonna take it and finds Victoria Carter all alone in the middle. Two more points for Victoria Carter. That's a total of eight points on the night for her here in the first half. And Pettis having trouble trying to get the ball. And it's going to be stolen by 
Ruiz and puts it up and in. Two points for Kayla Ruiz. It's going to be three points for her on the night so far here in the first half. <laughs> Nearly stolen off McFadden and out of bounds. Checking in for Pettis is Elena Vogues. Pettis inbounds the ball. Cowgirl sitting in the 2-3 zone. Swung out outside, dribbles and takes a shot. And it's a great effort by Addie Harkins as she tried to save the ball. And it's gonna be eagle ball. Referee's trying to let him know that's Pettis ball. Ball's inbounded. And it's off Herman, deflected, and Ruiz is gonna get another steal. Kayla Ruiz is going to take it up, throw it up, and get fouled. So Kayla Ruiz will go to the line once more. And Pettis coaches are not too happy right now. Once again, the Cowgirls are in the bonus, but Kayla Ruiz will go to the line and shoot two. The first one is up and good. Second shot coming up. It's up and it's off the front of the rim. So Kaler has four points so far this night, tonight. They're gonna get somebody on the foul there. Oh, they actually called the foul on Pettis on number 20, Jaslyn Garza. So Kaler gets a shot. Another free throw, and she makes it in. Killer attempt another one. It's up and off the front of the rim, rebounded by Herman. Killer with the jump shot and in. Two more points for Kayla Ruiz. Seven points for Kayla on the night. Three minutes and 50 seconds remaining here in the first half. Pettis setting up their offense, swinging the ball over, down inside, and stolen by Herman. Pass to Kaler. Kaler and McFadden. McFadden lays it up, and two points for Natalie McFadden. It's going to force a Pettis timeout. So we're going to take a timeout with them. We'll be right back. You're watching Cowgirl Basketball. The Hondo National Bank. During these crazy times we are going through, it is comforting to know that at the Hondo National Bank, you have options to help make your life easier. Options like mobile deposit, online banking, and online bill pay. And all these things can be done using the Hondo National Bank app on your mobile device. At the Hondo National Bank, we strive to bring you the latest technology to make your life easier. The Hondo National Bank, your friend, your neighbor, your banker, member FDIC. The Hondo National Bank, located downtown Hondo, Texas. Welcome back. We're here live from Royal College Gymnasium. Second quarter action. Your Cowgirls lead 36 to 2 over the Pettis Eagles. 324 remaining here in the first quarter. I mean, sorry, sec first half. Excuse me. Eagles swing the ball over. Rebounded by number 22. And once again, offensive rebound by number 25, Elena Vogues. And the basket. Did they count the basket? They counted the basket, so she's going to get one free throw. Vogues to the line. Ball is up and and in. 31-point lead here for the Cowgirls. Alicia Garcia, Danny Davidson on the court. Sydney Reyes, Tony Burrow, and Shaley Ruiz. And they're going to get traveling as Alicia Garcia turned the ball over, hustled back down court. 
And first forced a turnover. Danny Davidson to inbound for the Cowgirls to Garcia. Pettis trying to trap. Pass off to Shaylee Ruiz. Shaylee's going to sit back, set the offense, give it back to Garcia. Going to swing it over to Danny Davidson to Ruiz. Ruiz is going to looking for someone to cut. Back to Garcia. To Davidson inside looking. And Ruiz passes inside to Tony. Off the rim and rebounded by Pettis. Pettis reverses the call, throws it inside. Off the fingertips and recovered by Burrow. She passed it to Sydney. Sydney's going to take it up the court and has Shaylee Ruiz all alone. But Sydney's going to take it in off the, ri off the rim. Rebounded by Pettis. And Bella Gomez brings it up to court for the Eagles. Pettis running their offense. Nice three by Aliyah Hartsfield, but it's going to be off. Rebounded by Gomez, and a nice shot by Gomez. 140 remaining here in the first half. Shaylee Ruiz, Ruiz takes it all the way and up and off the bottom of the rim. Rebounded by Pettis. Gomez brings the ball up. Pettis working the ball in and out. Long three, and it's going to be great effort to save it. And Garcia's going to pick it up and take it down the court and drive up, and no foul called. Reese Ruiz with the rebound. Burrow with the rebound. And we have Pettis on the ground. The ball's tied up by Tony and Pettis Eagle. And the ball will go over. Actually, the ball will remind here with the Cowgirls. Sydney Reyes to inbound. Peyton Burrow checks in. Peyton Beer checks in. And Maddie Rodriguez checks in for the Cowgirls. One minute remaining here in the first half. Reyes finds Garcia. Burrow with the take and with the shot off the rim. And Burrow, once again, is going to take it up. And two points for Peyton Burrow. Four points on the night for Burrow. Making her debut on varsity tonight. 40 seconds remaining here in the first half. Pettis swing the ball from left to right. And inside stolen by Burrow. Peyton Burrow. Tries to find Garcia. Garcia's going to recover the ball. And they, she's gonna, they're going to get her for traveling. 21.9 seconds remaining here in the first half. Cowgirls lead by 31. Ray Ann Martinez to inbound for the Eagles. And Bella Gomez swings the ball over. Eagles running their offense. Shot's going to be airballed. And Burrow's going to knock it back in and... Defended by Rodriguez. Beard with the rebound. And she tries to find Sidney Reyes in the corner, but it's going to run out of bounds. 4.5 seconds remaining here in the first half. Cowgirls up 38-7. to seven. And number two, Ray Ann Martinez to inbound for the Eagles. Number five with the shot. And off the rim. And that's going to be the end of the first half as your Dennis Cowgirls lead 38 to 7 and once again we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors Hondo National Bank, Medina Electric Co-op, Triple Borough Show Pigs, Cecil Axon Ford and Hondo, 90's Taco Store, Cowboy Pest Control Service and Hutto Real Estate. We're going to take a word from our sponsors and we'll be right back after this message. Hutto Real Estate, welcome to the Texas Hill Country. Make sure to contact John Hutto if you're looking for that perfect piece of land to build on, residential property, or that unique running water ranch. Hutto Real Estate has your interest covered. We provide a superior level of informed services, including market analysis, ranch management, game management, security, or construction. Matching your need is our goal. Contact John Hutto at 830-486-5888.
We are Cecil Atkinson Ford, located in Honto, Texas, God's country. Just a short drive down Highway 90 from San Antonio. Are you looking for a new F-150? Come see the largest selection of America's best-selling pickup truck. Come see the Cecil difference. And we have a huge pre-owned inventory, especially trucks. Come see the Cecil difference. No smoke, no mirrors, just great deals. With the Cecil Concierge Service, we bring the dealership to you. When the products are similar, the dealer makes the difference. 90s Taco Store. We would like to welcome them to our community, so go out and pay them a visit. You will not be disappointed. Now open, family-owned Mexican restaurant and drive through 90s Taco Store in Dehennis, Texas has daily breakfast taco specials and daily lunch specials. If you're thirsty, they have plenty of cold beverages and margaritas. Feel free to call your order in at 830-988-4515. 90s Taco Store. taco store we would like to welcome them to our community so go out and pay them a visit you will not be disappointed now open family-owned mexican restaurant and drive through 90s taco store in the Hennis, texas has daily breakfast taco specials and daily lunch specials if you're thirsty they have plenty of cold beverages and margaritas feel free to call your order in at 830-988-4515 90s taco store The Hondo National Bank. During these crazy times we are going through, it is comforting to know that at the Hondo National Bank, you have options to help make your life easier. Options like mobile deposit, online banking, and online bill pay. And all these things can be done using the Hondo National Bank app on your mobile device. At the Hondo National Bank, we strive to bring you the latest technology to make your life easier. The Hondo National Bank, your friend, your neighbor, your banker, member FDIC. The Hondo National Bank, located downtown Hondo, Texas. We are Cecil Atkinson Ford, located in Honto, Texas, God's country. Just a short drive down Highway 90 from San Antonio. Are you looking for a new F-150? Come see the largest selection of America's best-selling pickup truck. Come see the Cecil difference. And we have a huge pre-owned inventory, especially trucks. Come see the Cecil difference. No smoke, no mirrors, just great deals. With the Cecil Concierge Service, we bring the dealership to you. When the products are similar, the dealer makes the difference. Hutto Real Estate, welcome to the Texas Hill Country. Make sure to contact John Hutto if you're looking for that perfect piece of land to build on, residential property, or that unique running water ranch. Hutto Real Estate has your interest covered. We provide a superior level of informed services, including market analysis, ranch management, game management, security, or construction. Matching your need is our goal. Contact John Hutto at 830-486-5888. Cowboy Pest Control. Are you having problems with bugs in your house? Have you started seeing fire ants pop up in your yard? Call Dale at Cowboy Pest Control and he will take care of those or any other insect related issues you may be facing. With over 16 years experience in the pest control industry, Dale has seen and treated almost every problem you may be facing. From ants, roaches, spiders, scorpions, to bees, fleas, and even termites, Dale has a fix for it. If you find yourself needing a wood destroying insect report for the sale of a property, he can do that also. Call Dell at 830-931-5542 for honest, dependable service at a fair price. Best of luck to the cowgirls and cowboys from Cowboy Pest Control. 
Once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. We'd like to welcome on board Mr. Tommy Burrow and Triple Burrow Show Pigs. We'd like to thank them for their contributions. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, Honda National Bank, Medina Electric Co-op, Triple Burrow Show Pigs, Seaside Axe Ford and Honda, 90s Taco Store, Cowboy Pest Control Services, and Hutto Real Estate. Currently, your Cowboys are warming up on the court as the Cowgirls still have about 1 minute and 40 seconds remaining to the Sec beginning of the second half. Victoria Carter leads all scores for the Cowgirls with eight points. Uh, Mabry Herman has two points. Kayla Ruiz with seven. Addie Harkins with five. Natalie McFadden with seven points. Danny Davidson added two points. Peyton Burrow making her varsity debut tonight with four. Shaylee Ruiz also with her debut tonight with three points. As your Dennis Cowgirls lead 38 to seven here at Roy Cow Gymnasium. Uh, we apologize. We were supposed to stream to YouTube as well. We we're having some technical difficulties and ran a little late. But we're here now. And once again, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Medina Electric Co-op, Hondo National Bank, Cecil Axon Ford and Hondo 90s Taco Store, Cowboy Pest Control Services, Huddle Real Estate, and Tommy Brown and Mr. Triple Burrow Show Pigs. Looks like we're getting ready to get started here. Start the second half. Third quarter action here as your Dennis Cowgirls won their season opener over Brackett by a final of 55 31 and currently lead here in their second game of the season 38 7 over the Pettis Eagles. Coming up next, we're going to have the Dennis Cowboys versus the Pettis War Eagles. And Dennis lost their first game 54 51 to Brackett. Looking to get started on the winning track here tonight. Cowgirls came out fast, scoring 23 points in the first quarter. Slowed down a bit in the second, scoring 15. Playing solid defense and holding Pettis to seven points. And the Cowgirls look like Pettis will inbound the ball. It's going to be number two, Rian Martinez to inbound for the Eagles. And the referees, one ref's not ready. They're checking, they're waiting to get the clock fixed. And the ball's inbounded. Cowgirl sitting in the 2-3 zone. Ball swing out. And on the court for the Cowgirls, you have Kayla Ruiz, Alicia Garcia, Mabry Herman, Addie Harkins, and Natalie McFadden. And great defense by Ruiz and as her and Herman tie the ball up, it's going to go over to the Cowgirls. 7.38 remaining here in the third quarter. Ruiz to inbound for DeHennis. She finds McFadden. McFadden to Ruiz as they break the press. Ruiz drives all the way in and two points for Garcia. Alicia Garcia, her first points of the night. And stolen by McFadden. Natalie with the two-on-one pass to Garcia back to McFadden, and it's going to be deflected off Pettis. It's going to be cowgirl ball here. Ruiz to inbound. And throws it up top to Garcia. Garcia thinks about the three and drives in and back to Harkins. Swung over to Ruiz. Ruiz is going to Drive in a little bit, blocked by Pettis. Ruiz gets the deflection and takes it in, misses the layup, and deflected off. Pettis is going to remain here with the Cowgirls once again. Once again, Kaler with the inbound and looking for somebody, and she's going to find McFadden with a nice little bounce pass, and Natalie McFadden is going to add two more points. So McFadden has nine points tonight. Pettis running their offense, swinging the ball from left to right. Back to the center, to the left, and she loses control. And Kaylee Ruiz is going to pick up the ball 
And she's gonna drive all the way to the hoop using the left hand. She's gonna get fouled by number 15, Jocelyn Reina. So, Kayla Ruiz to the line to shoot two shots. Ruiz with the first one is up and off. Kayla Ruiz with the second attempt, and it's good. And that gives Kayla Ruiz eight points tonight. 6.24 here in the third quarter. And Ruiz with the near steal. They're going to get Alicia Garcia with the foul. Pettis with the inbound long three off the rim, and I believe she touched, she forgot which direction she had to go. They stopped her. And another shot off the front of the rim, rebounded by Harkins. Addie Harkins bringing it down the court and is going to take a jump shot. <laughs> it's a long two. Addie Harkins with seven points on the night. Pettis working their own in offense inside, stolen by Mabry Herman. Mabry Herman's off to the races, taking it all the way. Does a nice, nice little step move and off the, off the rim. Herman with the steal, finds, tries to find Garcia. Stolen, Garcia fighting for the ball and throws it near. And they're going to say it's, they're going to say it's Dehenna's ball. <laughs> Inbounded by Ruiz. She finds Herman. Herman swings it to Harkins. Harkins gonna drive in and off the corner of the board. Two points for Addie Harkins. Nine points up for Addie tonight. Five minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And they're gonna call a foul on Natalie McFadden. And there's going to be a mass substitution for the Cowgirls as Peyton Burrow, Maddie Rodriguez, Brighton Beard, Tony Burrow, and Sidney Reyes will check into the game. It's going to be Pettis Ball. Pettis with us. Running their offense with slow, trying to slow the game down. And number two is going to take a long shot. It's going to be off the front and rebounded by Maddie Rodriguez, also making her debut tonight on varsity. Peyton Burrow is going to drive it, and she settles, settles down and throws it to Reyes for another jump shot. Rebounded by Beard and two points for Brighton Beard. That's her first two points of the night. Forty-nine to seven lead for the Cowgirls as they sit in the two-three zone. Long three. For Bella Gomez, 39 point lead for the Cowgirls. Sydney Reyes taking the ball up the court. Nice little reverse move, driving around. Brothers, nice pass from her knees to Burl. Inside to Maddie Rodriguez. Maddie off the back and rebounded by Beard. Another two points for Brighton Beard. She's had four consecutive points. Um, back to pack possessions. Another three for Pettis, rebounded by Reyes, and they're going to say that it's deflected by Pettis. It's going to be go over to the Cowgirls. And little trouble there. It's going to go out of bounds as Peyton Burrow try to swing the ball back to Reyes. So Pettis will take over. Cowgirls with a 41 point lead here, 332 remaining in the third quarter. That is to inbound the ball. Cowgirl still sitting in the 2-3 zone. Dumped down inside. Deflected by Rodriguez. And picked up by Tony Burrow. Swung out to Peyton. Stolen. And Peyton from behind. 
And the near t good attempt blocked by Matty Rodriguez, blocked by Beard. And now the ball is just like a street ball right now. Pettis sets up their offense, swung over to the right side, and there's a jump shot. It's going to be airballed and deflected and taken by Rodriguez. Swung out to Peyton Burroughs, going to take it down the court. Finds Reyes. Reyes with the jump shot, airballed, and Brighton Beer is going to pick it up and back to Reyes for another deflection off of Pettis. So it's going to go out of bounds on Pettis. And 2.39 here in the third quarter. Cowgirls will. Inbound the ball, in the ball, the ball. Sydney Reyes, excuse me. To inbound for the Cowgirls. On the court, once again, Brighton Beard, Peyton Burrow, Tony Burrow, and Maddie Rodriguez. Reyes finds Brighton Beard. Brighton swings it over to Peyton. Peyton with a nice little screen by Rodriguez. Adds two more points. Six points for Peyton Burrow tonight. Pettis with the three, and off the backboard, and good. Bella Gomez with the three for Pettis. Sidney Reyes trying to break the press, finds Tony Burrow two on one, passed inside to Maddie Rodriguez, off the backboard, and two points for Madison Rodriguez. Her first two points, points on varsity action. Pettis swings the ball over. Gomez with another three from downtown and off the rim, rebounded by Tony Burrow. Passes it to her sister Peyton, all alone. Goes up for the layup and in. Peyton Burrow. Eight points tonight. Great assist from her sister, Tony. Another three for Pettis. Off the front of the rim and out of bounds, gonna go over to the Cowgirls. Checking in for the Cowgirls, number 14, Danny Davidson, Victoria Carter, Shaylee Ruiz. And coming out will be Sidney Reyes, Tony Burrow. And one more girl needs to get off the court. Maddie Rodriguez will get off. 118 remaining here in the third quarter. Peyton Burrow to inbound for the Cowgirls. She finds Shaylee Ruiz. Back to Peyton, takes it down the center, breaks the press, takes it all the way in, finds Victoria Carter, and she throws it up. It's going to be short, and it's going to be tied up by Brighton and Peyton and a tennis player. It's going to remain here with the Cowgirls. Shaylee Ruiz to inbound for the Hennis. She finds Danny Davidson. Davidson looking for somebody inside. Sets it up again, once in the middle to Brighton. Brighton finds Peyton. Peyton's going to dribble inside, and it's going to get tied up. Right, number 11, Mika Davis, and it's going to go over to Pettis. 58 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Cowgirls up 57 to 13. As Rianne Martinez takes the ball up the court for Pettis. And near steal by Peyton. And stolen by Peyton this time. Two on one. Peyton's going to take it all the way up. Off the backboard and in. Peyton Burrow having a sensational night so far with 10 points. 10 points for her first varsity action. And ball's turned over. 16.5 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Your Cowgirls lead 59 to 13. Danny Davidson to inbound for the Cowgirls. Passed in to Shaylee Ruiz. Back to Davison. Trying to break the press. Crosses midcourt. Swings it back to Ruiz. And they're going to. And then. <laughs> fouled by Jasmine Aranis. Oh. Coach is not happy right now. So the referee is going to go give her a warning. Four seconds remaining here in the third quarter. 59 to 13. Cowgirls lead. Danny Davidson inbound for the Cowgirls. 
pass to Shaylee Ruiz. She's going to hold the ball and let the clock expire. Oh, I'm not sure why Pettis is fouling, but they're fouling. Once again, number 30, Jasmine Alaniz with the foul. 0.3 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Cowgirls will inbound, and once the ball is touched, that'll likely end the third quarter. Inbounded by Shaylee Ruiz, and that's going to be the end of third quarter as your DeHennis Cockroaches lead 59 to 13. And we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors, Hondo National Bank, Medina Electric Co-op, Triple Burrow Show Pigs, Cecil Axon Ford and Hondo, 90s Taco Store, Cowboy Pest Control Service, and Hutto Real Estate. Medina Electric Cooperative was built by this community more than 80 years ago to deliver safe, reliable, and affordable energy. We are proud to serve this community beyond the power lines. You can find us supporting your kids' little league, sponsoring school events, hosting safety presentations, and more. We're honored to belong to this community. Keep up with Medina Electric from the power lines to the sidelines on social media or at medinaec.org. Welcome back. We're here getting ready to start the fourth quarter as your Cowgirls lead 59 to 13 over the Pettis Eagles. Cowgirls exploded in that quarter, coming out with 21 points. And we're getting ready here to start the fourth quarter once again. Cowgirls in the ball, inbound the ball. Danny Davison, Alicia Garcia, Shaylee Ruiz, Maddie Rodriguez, and Peyton Burrow on the court for the Cowgirls. Ruiz, I'm sorry, <laughs> Garcia setting up the offense for the Cowgirls. Pettis coming out strong defensively, pressing to Davison, to Garcia. Garcia dribbling the ball around to Ruiz. And Ruiz loses control, stolen by Perez. She looks at the coach and then takes the shot and it, it goes in for Perez. Rian Martinez. Garcia dribbling through everybody. He's going to get fouled by number 21, Hartsfield. Davidson to inbound for the Cowgirls. Throws it in, and Peyton Burrell has another two points. 12 points for Peyton Burrell tonight. And they're going to get it for traveling. So it's going to be Calgary ball once again. 7.07 remaining here in the ballgame. Danny Davidson to inbound for the Cowgirls. Throws it into Shaylee Ruiz. Shaylee makes a move. Swings it to Garcia. Garcia's in a, trying to look inside. Alicia dribbling around everyone. Garcia makes a move and takes a shot and lays it. Nice little shot for Garcia. It's going to be four points for her tonight. 6.40 remaining in the ballgame. Pettis running their offense. Takes a shot inside. It's going to get fouled. Rianne Martinez is going to get fouled. So it's going to be a foul on. Couldn't quite see. I didn't quite see who they called the foul on. 6.29 remaining in the ballgame. Two shots, the first one is off. Second shot, second attempt is coming up for Pettis. And it's going to be off, nearly rebounded by Rodriguez. And Shaylee Ruiz picks it up and finds Alicia Garcia down the court. And Garcia is going to add two more points. So it's going to be six points on the night for Alicia Garcia. Rebounded by Shay Lee. Pass down the court to Garcia, who's going to slow down and let everybody catch up to her. And 
Run some offense. Pass to Shaylee. To Danny Davidson, but it's going to be stolen by Ryan Martinez. She loses control. And it's going to be Pettis' ball. And mass substitution for Pettis. 5.48 here remaining in the ballgame. 65-15, Cowgirls lead. They got a little excited. Referee didn't give him the signal to go ahead and go in for the substitution. So he made him go back, and there they go, back out there onto the court. Pettis to inbound the ball. All alone in the corner. It's going to be a long two as their toe is on the line. Rebounded by Rodriguez. Lost control, picked it up, and finds Garcia, who crosses midcourt, dribbling through many eagles. And it's going to go off her foot. It's going to be... It's going to go over to Pettis. Long three off the front of the rim, rebounded by Pettis. Stolen, taken by Matty Rodriguez, who finds Garcia down the court. Taking it all the way and lays it up. Two points for Alicia Garcia once again. Garcia now with eight points. Five minutes remaining here in the ballgame. Pettis with the three off the rim. And it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to go over to the Cowgirls. And the Henderson is going to have mass substitution as well. It's checking in for the Cowgirls now. You have Mabry Herman, Victoria Carter, Addie Harkins, Natalie McFadden, and to inbound. Cater Ruiz, 4.56 remaining here in the ballgame. Cowgirls up 67 to 15. Ruiz to run the offense. Dribbling around, finds her way in and tries to hand it off to Herman, but it's going to be a foul called on number 15, Jocelyn Reyna. So Ruiz will inbound. Finds Herman. Herman with the shot and rebounded by Justin Reyna. He takes it up the court. Pettis running their offense, looking for the right opportunity. The shot is jacked up by Rian Martinez off the backboard. So Ruiz brings the court, brings the ball up the court. Sets the offense and stolen by Justin Reyna, who takes it up and rebounded by McFadden, who brings it up the court and looks for Carter. Victoria takes it up and two points for the Cowgirls. Victoria Carter, her first points of the second half. She's been silent. Total 10 points tonight for Victoria. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in the ballgame. Shot is up, rebounded by Herman. Passes the, down the court to Kayla Luis, who's going to take it up and get fouled. So Kayla Luis will go to the line once again. Taylor Ruiz with eight points on the night so far. See if she can add two more. 3.23 remaining here in the ballgame. Ruiz with the shot. And off. Taylor with the second attempt. It's up and off the front of the rim, rebounded by Pettis. Off the hands of Pettis. And it's going to go over to the Cowgirls. 3-12 remaining here in the ballgame. The hand is with the 69-17. Luis inbounds to McFadden. Breaks the press with a pass to Addie Harkins. Addie trying to dribble in. It's going to be off of number two, Rian Martinez. 
Kaylor Ruiz to inbound for the Cowgirls. Kaylor looking for somebody inside. Nice bounce pass inside to Herman, but and Herman is going to get blocked. And Carter fighting for the ball and tries to save it. They're going to say she was out of bounds on the line. 2.58 remaining here in the ballgame. Cowgirls lead 69-17. Stolen by Carter, passes the ball down the court to McFadden, to Ruiz, she lays it up and off. Great defense by Harkins, putting pressure in the backcourt. Nice screen there by Pettis, rebounded. Ball is thrown up, rebounded by Herman. Finds Ruiz down the court all alone to, and takes a little jump shot and it's going to be off the rim. McFadden tried to rebound it. It's going to be out of bounds on Natalie. 2.16 remaining here in the ballgame. Substitution coming in for Pettis. Lady Eagles with the inbound. They're going to call a foul on Kaylor Ruiz. Checking into the for the Cowgirls, Brighton Beard, Sidney Reyes, Tony Burrow, and Danny Davison. Staying on the court for the Cowgirls is Victoria Carter. 206 here in the ballgame, left in the ballgame. Shot is up, and they're going to call a foul on Victoria Carter. It's going to send. Number five, Bella Gomez to the line. For the Eagles. First shot is up and off. Second shot is up and good. Reyes inbounds to Davison. Davison tries to break. And Reyes trying to break some presses and throws it to Davison. And it's going to be turned over. Pettis is going to recover. And Gomez with the shot and in. Danny inbounds it to Sydney. Beard with the recovery. Beard slows it down and turns it over. Rebounded by Tony. Sidney Ray is dribbling the ball down the court. Going past all the defenders, lays it up and off. Gets a rebound and passes to Victoria, but it's stolen by Gomez. And Gomez loses control, it's picked up by Danny Davidson. Danny's dribbling down the court, but she's going to get fouled by number two, Rianne Martinez. So with 106 remaining here in the ballgame, your Cowgirls lead 69 to 20. Victoria Carter will check out, and Shaylee Ruiz will check in. They're going to actually say the Cowgirls are in a bonus. There's going to be one and one shot for Danny Davison. Substitution comes in for Pettis. It's going to be a one and one shot for Davison. So the shot is up. And good, so that brings your total to three points on the night. But she's got one more shot. Danny Davidson with her second attempt. Ball is up and off the front of the rim. So Danny Davidson will three at three points for the night so far. One minute remaining. Near steal by Reyes. Ball swung inside and off the backboard. Rebounded. Jump shot and two points for Gomez. Bella Gomez adds two points for the Eagles. Brighton Beer, two in one situation with her and Tony. Brighton takes it up on off. Tony gets the rebound and puts it back up. 
off the front of the board. Rebounded by Pettis. 25 seconds remaining here in the ball game. Gomez with the three. 70 to 25 lead, 13 seconds remaining in the ball game. Reyes in, bounces it to Beard who Tony Burrow adds two points at the buzzer. So your Dennis Cowgirls will win this ball game 74 to 25 over the Pettis Lady Eagles. We'll be right back in a few messages. We'll be right back in a few messages. But first, we'd like to say thank you to all of our sponsors. Hondo National Bank, Medina Electric Co-op, Triple Burrow Show Pig, Seaswax and Ford, 90s Taco Store, Cowboy Pest Control Service, and Huddle Real Estate. We'll be back in about five minutes for your Dehennis Cowboys as they host the Pettis War Eagles as well. 